Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to do lunges. Lunges are primarily for the quadriceps and the glutes. Quadriceps are the muscles on the anterior side of your thigh and the glutes are the muscles of your hips. Depending on uh, the position of your leg, uh, it is these muscles which get activated. Now, uh, I often hear people saying that I avoid lunges uh, because they hurt my knees. It is due to that I made this video today so that you do not skip this powerful exercise out of this fear of hurting your knees. Lunges are to make us stronger, not to hurt our knees. If done correctly, they are brilliant, right? Uh, at the end of this video, I will also show you uh, the common mistakes which I see people make so that you, you can correct yourself and lunge better. We will start with the basic form, the basic form of lunges uh, so that we have a stronger foundation as we progress, right? So let's get started. So for the lunges, you start with legs hip width apart. Now this is the hip width. Wider than this becomes the shoulder width and not hip. So this is the hip width. I take one big step back. Again, keeping my legs hip width apart only. And I get down on my one knee. Now see it from the side. I get down on my one knee. Now what am, what, what am I checking here? I am checking that both my knees have almost 90 degree angle and that's how I start my lunges. Now this is a better way to start the lunges when you are just starting out and you're not sure how to do it. Now let us understand the breathing. So inhale to prepare, exhale and you go up. Inhale to come down, exhale and go up. Try and keep your movements nice in control and steady. Inhale to come down, exhale to come up. Now the next thing which you need to see is how is the weight distributed on your legs. So when I start, I during the first repetition I come to know how is my weight distributed and I readjust. Most of my weight is on my front heel and the midfoot. My front toe is free. So I, when I start the lunges and by the second repetition, I come to know how's the weight and then if the weight is too much forward, I push my body weight behind and then I do that. So that makes the movement vertical and not forward and backward. Now this is the other angle you see. If you see while I'm doing the lunges, my legs are still hip width apart. My knees and my toes are pointing in the same direction. So these are the important points in a lunge. Now see this again. When I go down, my weight is on my heel and midfoot. So much so, see I'm moving my toes to show you that my toes are free. Now how should be the back foot? See the heel is properly lifted. I'm resting only on the toes and the ball of the toes. So this is how both your feet should be placed. Front foot will have the weight on the heel and midfoot and the back foot heel will be absolutely lifted up so that you're resting only on the toes and the ball of the toes. A lunge has vertical movement and not forward and backward. With this let us start with the mistakes. Number one, the forward movement where all the weight shifts to the front toes. That makes the front knee go way past the toes. So that's the mistake number one. Now mistake number two. Arching the back way too much. Mistake number three. Keeping too much weight on the back foot in order to keep the front knee above the ankle. Lot of people try that the knee does not cross the ankle because of that they put a lot of weight on the back foot so much so that the back heel also stays down and doesn't come up too much mistake number four not making enough efforts to go down deep mistake five not keeping the toes and the knees aligned at times the back foot the toes of the back foot go outside or inside with, because of which the knees also do not stay aligned. Mistake 6. 
not keeping the legs hip width apart because of which the back foot goes behind the front foot. So this was all about the lunges. Uh, you can start with uh, 10 repetitions and move up to 15 to 20. Doing uh, 10 or 15 or 20 repetition on one leg in one go is difficult but it helps in maintaining the balance because if you alternate you may end up losing your balance. So I would recommend doing the lunges on the same leg and not alternating initially and later as you progress you can always customize there are many more variations of lunges. So these were some important points about the lunges. Please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it or learned something new. And do subscribe with post notifications on for more such videos. I shall see you soon. Until then, take good care. Bye-bye.